In this video, we have a capacitor with a value of one-third farad, and it was charged to a total of 10 volts. And now we're going to let this charge capacitor discharge to the circuit. And when it does, we want to know what is the amount of current that goes across from A to B. Now, for the current here involving a capacitor, whether it's a charging capacitor or a discharging capacitor, has the same general formula. I equals E divided by the total resistance of the circuit, and then it's E to the minus T divided by RC. Again, R is the total resistance of the circuit. Uh, for a discharging capacitor, sometimes you'll see a negative sign here. That just simply tells you that the discharging current is going in the opposite direction to the charging current. So that need not concern us. What we do have to do then is for this circuit, determine what the total resistance is. So here are two resistors in parallel, and then we have added to them another parallel pair of resistors. So it looks like REQ, our equivalent resistance, will equal for these their product 10 times 10, 100, divided by their sum, that's 20. And for these, their product, again 100, divided by their sum, that's 25. So this is 5, that's 4, so we have 9 ohms as our equivalent resistance. So going back to our formula, oh and let's look at this, down here we have R times C, again R is our total or equivalent resistance for the circuit, that's 9, and C is 1 third, so RC equals 9 times 1 third equals 3. So it looks like the current I equals E 10 divided by 9, and then we have E to the minus T divided by 3. Now when we say the current, what we mean is, let's call this IS because that's the current that is coming out of the capacitor going into our circuit. So we have IS equals 10 divided by 9 e to the minus t over 3. Now, it looks like we need to determine how much of this current, we'll just call it IS, gets split up amongst these resistors. Clearly what's going to happen here is that it should be pretty pretty obvious, I guess, that half of it's going to go through this resistor and half of it's going to go through this resistor. So we have right here one half IS and likewise through here we have one half IS. Now we want to know what's the value of that current. So this one-half IS is going to get split between these two parallel resistors. Some of it will go through here, some of it will go through here, and of course we can determine each amount by using the current divider principle. We're interested in how much of this current goes through here because it has to go across this branch of the circuit to get there. So let's determine that. We have I 20 ohms will equal 
So how much of it gets split between the 5 and the 20? Well, the amount that goes through here, that is equal to its parallel resistor, 5, divided by the sum of these two, 5, 20 plus 5 is 25, times the current coming into them, that's one half IS. So that equals 5 divided by 50 times IS, or that's one tenth. So from the current that went through this resistor, we have one tenth of an of IS that goes across this and into the 20 ohm resistor. So for here it is going in this direction. Now from this resistor we have one half IS and again it's going to get split. Some of it will go through this resistor, some of, some of this will go through the parallel resistor. And we want to know how much of this goes through the parallel 5 ohm resistor because it has to go across that branch of the circuit to get there. So now we want I 5 ohms and that will equal this resistor, its parallel one, divided by the sum 25 times the amount of current that's getting split, and again that's one half IS. So this is equal to, this is 20 over 100, no 20 over 50, times IS, or that's two-fifths IS, or that would equal four tenths times IS going in this direction. So if we say what is the value of I going in this direction, well we would take the current in that direction, this, minus the current in the opposite direction, so it would give us minus three tenths times IS, this current minus this current will be the net current going in this direction and it gives us a negative number meaning of course that the current here is not going in this direction it's going in the opposite direction. So this we can say is going in this direction and it is equal to three tenths times IS. And what is IS? That we determined earlier. It's this. So we can put it all together. We have 3 tenths, make this plus because we corrected the direction for the current, times IS. So that's 3 tenths times 10 over 9 E to the minus T divided by 3, and it looks like these cancel, and that is equal to one-third E to the minus T divided by 3. So that would be then the current that goes in this direction is, now we can modify this further, or make it more accurate, it is one-third E to the minus T divided by 3. So that would be the current going in this part of the circuit and it is going in this direction, not in the direction that we had originally assumed. Okay, um, that's it for this video. I think this is uh, video 64 in our series on electrical circuits. Uh, anyway, you can find the playlist for all the videos 
It's at the website uh, digital-university.org.